One of the most commonly asked questions in my permaculture course right now is how much space do I have? My property goes to just before this unruly hedge. So I'm here to the cliff and over to that unruly hedge. With a house we're about to walk around in a shed. And so we'll take a little walk through so you can see how it is that I have so many different plants on a property that's definitely not large. The glare is a little high, so I'm having trouble seeing what I'm videoing. We've already come in through a berry patch that's starting to come ripe, and sun chokes. Then we have lovage, rhubarb, asparagus, this side of this path is annuals. Uh, this year it's peppers and celery and something else. Um, and chard. And then this is the joe pie that I have. It's gonna bloom soon. These are all onions set into tires with the side walls cut off. I'm gonna duck under the joe pie. And this is why my videos are always so shaky. Got a Josta berry. I've got a red currant. I've got a cherry, which, wow, I'm sorry about the sun. It's that time of day. I've got a honey berry, honey berry, and a plum that I unfortunately tore the yolk and had to um, had to really aggressively prune it, so it's making a rebound. Um, then here we have a really good hedge. Because as you can see, this is going to be basically a food hedge coming through here. I'm going to start distributing this in a different area, I'll mention, probably. Um, so this is service berry cherry, service berry uh, gap for production. This I want to develop. There is a hazelnut going here. Neighbors keep trimming it. They don't know what it is. It's fine. And... I do have a hardy kiwi here. These are self-reseeding annuals in this bed. Um, largely, oh, and I have rutabaga getting started in the middle. So, oh, and they're doing well. That's good. Um, the ferns do themselves, and I just kind of let them. I have squash, beans, tomatoes on the other side. That's just this here. I could do whatever. Apple and a pear here that were planted and began espaliering before uh, me and the neighbor, because I had a neighbor that was really good about this hedge, and uh, life is different now. I might get a pole trimmer and start keeping it shorter. These hardly fruit produce because there's not enough sun getting through the Chinese privet hedge, which is this guy does little tufty white flowers, but I am really vicious with this particular hedge. This annual plot, so we could have walked up here, but we didn't. There's hollyhocks that I reseed in here, hence the rope structure. I eat their seed pods right after they've dropped their flower, and you can eat their leaves. They tend to have flea beetle damage and not look too appetizing. There are a couple apples in here. I can't find them. I don't. I hope the deer hasn't eaten them. I also have a deer problem. Um, you'll see where they come from in a moment. This is borage. Um, calendula. A very large amaranth that's still in its baby form. Another rhubarb. There were two rhubarb here. There's another. There's rhubarb everywhere. And also, of course, these daylilies that we've eaten a few times during class. I have them all over the place. They're really coming into their own this year, and I, um, I've been missing a lot of them, but they bloom the rest of the year. It'll be fine. Um, this passed a whole big stand of Monarda, which is frankly too much. And past these lilies that are going to come in is, you can see there's a path right here. Uh, I'm not the one maintaining that path. It's a groundhog and a deer. 
Uh, the deer is eating the heck out of this would have mulberries all over it this year because it had fruit early but uh, it's getting eaten to death and then there's a native mulberry that i put in just past that also getting eaten to death so we're gonna see how that goes um might be a good place for me to come up with ideas about animal control i have a tree of heaven down on the cliff that reseeds everywhere this area, this is a cold frame that started to collapse, so I'm finishing it off slowly. This is strawberries all through here. Um, then we'll just kind of like gloss over some of this. Whole big row of flowers. This is just flowers here. And then I have my paths spaced so that I can just step through everything. This is a seed propagation area. The screen is to keep the birds out from eating everything. And then once I have propagation going, these are pots sunk into the ground so that I can get really good um, growth without watering as much. This is a seed set service berry. I have a lot more of those over in this area. Ah, please don't mind the dead trees that I pulled out of my elderberry. I did some trimming in the elderberry patch and added a earthworks feature for water divertment into the elderberry patch just this week. So you can see there's the neighbor. Here's me and my side porch, and there's the other neighbor. Okay, we're going to turn and maybe not blind you again. Sorry about that. And then over here, past the fire pit, is the view. And that is the water tower that we've been at for our permaculture certificate program all week. We've been just below that at the Garfield Community Farm. The grove that's at the end of the walkway of the retainer wall on the other side of the shed here is this right here. It's in development too. I'm using black plastic to try to overcome some of the weediness of this hill. There's a whole bunch of papery seeds falling out of a tree of heaven down there, which is frustrating as all heck. Um, and I have some shoring up of my land to do before I can be certain that I'm going to be okay. This oak is uh, showing signs of impending death. <laughs> you can see the view is pretty awesome here too. And if I could get down the hill a bit more often, I could cut to maintain it a bit again. I, hmm, I'll get there. So yeah, that's Lawrenceville. Behind here is Allegheny Cemetery. And then that's the green hill behind um, Garfield. And that's that water tower. Just another look over everything. Thorned raspberries here. I do have non thorn raspberries just behind the shed. And I need some mulch in here. I'm gonna let the ground ivy take over as my grass because this is the tallest it gets. It's just. That's it. Pretty happy with that. And it doesn't care about the water factor. So that's, uh, that's the garden. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Bye.